You know, there's almost nothing more satisfying than when somebody provides you with a link, a clip, a piece of information that simply confirms that the way you felt about someone, the way you believe them to be, is absolutely the kind of person that they are. There's almost nothing better than that, especially when you're talking about social media, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, slash X, YouTube, wherever it is, that someone ends up being exactly what you expected them to be. Just simply believing it isn't enough. You get provided a clip, like this one here that we're about to watch, that just confirms that you were absolutely right from the beginning. So this is a person who I knew as, back in the day, as Master Swag King. Now, I don't know if that's still what he uses all over the internet, uh, but I know that's who he is here. And let me explain to you why I know that. This same person, he's the one in the top corner there on the left side of that screen. The same person, whether he wants to admit it or not, a couple years ago, because we did have an overlapping community, wanted to do content with me. Wanted to either do a live stream or be a guest on my stream. He used to come into my live streams and want to do stuff with me there. Or, you know, if I was on a stream with someone else he knew, he would mention it. So this is this is someone that wanted to, like, collab with me at a certain point. But now, I guess they're salty and they feel like they need to be on the front lines and defending a lot of these other grift tubers. However, I was provided this clip that shows this person referring to me as the F slur, and they use it more than once in this video, although we're only gonna use it once because there's a, it's a trigger warning, and I will probably beep it because it is YouTube, but uses the F slur referring to me and jokes about the fact that our interactions, um, that he thought he might catch AIDS because of that. This is all homophobic stuff, 100% homophobic. And I want you to know that this is why I fight so hard for what I fight for here on YouTube. Because me, I'm not fragile. They don't have that same energy with me directly, but they certainly have a little fucking safe space, a little bigoted homophobic safe space they can go to and talk shit about me behind my back. But I found out about it. So we're gonna watch this clip, and then I've got a little bit more to say about all of this. So let's watch this. Trigger warning, I'm gonna beep it, but there is an F slur in here. So trigger warning, but we're gonna talk about it, and I'm gonna show you why these, these people are liars and they make shit up to fit their narrative. Here we go. You know, okay. tackle, you know that, you know that gay jokes. weirdo, Eric, uh, Eric's faggot. He's trying to have the stream taken down. He told me that Melanie Mac was racist. That's what he said. I was like, got me proof? Where's the punchline? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I shit you not. I still have okay, so he says, I want to preface this by saying that he is saying that that I told him that Melanie Mac is racist. Now, I'm pretty sure that I may have said that about her in some of my videos. But here's the thing. I never said that to him. I never said to him that Melanie Mac was racist. And when he tries to pull up his receipts, you will see on screen, and I'm going to show it to you as well, that he is lying about that to sort of demean me and talk shit about me because clearly he doesn't like me because I'm gay. No, I, I shit you not, I still have this interaction. It almost, I almost got AIDS. All right, so his, I'm, I'm gonna find this guy, <laughs> <laughs> well, they, AIDS, they, gay guy. All right, I'm just- They find that really up, right? funny. Right, that was so, hilarious. Said, no one's saying anything. Racist. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I just said proof. He, he literally said, the first reply was, she hangs out with F and T. And I was like, that does, Dude. that's not proof. <laughs> that's bull so he's saying that I called her racist. He asked for proof. And then I referred to her hanging out on F and T, right? That was his claim. Keep that in mind when he finally shows what's on screen here. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Miss K, check this, check this, check this, check this link right here. I just put in the mm -hmm. private chat about that man. The yellow flash posted this when people were talking Don't about worry. it. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to go over that, that one. I'm going to find that retarded reply. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I found the first third. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the other two. This is just peak cognitive dissonance out of okay. people. This just goes to show you we're we're all. Ah, fucking, I'm, I'm right. blind. I'm he blind. Says, right? Dark. Dark what mode, the fuck? Hey, I prefer my meat white. Whatever. Whatever. All right. This guy says all the while she hangs out with racists and bigots. Okay. Right. I said she hangs out with racists and bigots. I did not say to him that she was a racist which was his original 
accusation towards me while he was using slurs and saying that I would get that uh, that I could have given him AIDS. I said, oh God, any proof. Oh, it's Eric. Oh God. Yeah, I said I, I just said any proof. She hangs out on F and T. Right. She hangs out with racist and bigots. You asked me for proof of that, and I said she hangs out on F and T. And then let's let's see what he says here. All right. <laughs> That motherfucker uh, pisses me off. I'm glad I do. I said that's literally not proof at all. He just sent me out of context screenshots. So I don't know. They're not out of context. These are the two main people on FNT, which is heel versus babyface as and Gary, which is nerd rotic. You asked me for proof that she hangs out with racist and bigots. And so I am providing you with screenshots showing that they are racist and bigots. That is what I'm providing you with. They're not out of context. They are within the context of what you asked me for. Oh, what the fuck ain't is supposed to mean? Like, this is proof. We're talking about Melanie Mac here, right? No, we're not. You asked me for proof that she hangs out with racists and bigots. Not that she was racist, which is what you initially said on your stream. And you're still pretending here that that's the question. That was not the question. You are misrepresenting me because you do not like me. So you're trying to build some narrative around the fact that I somehow gave you out of context responses, which I did not. And you don't even show the rest of this, which we're gonna see here in a second, where I go even deeper into it and actually do go back to Melanie Mac, even though you never even asked me for that. So you, I was like, uh, okay, whatever. Oh, Peak man buns are gay, so. so yeah. I was never late to Melanie Mac. I don't know, These, he's liberal. <laughs> the, the, the brain's racist. Eric is. So the reason why, it doesn't relate to Melanie Mac directly is because that was not the question. Let's take a look at the actual thread here. I'm gonna pull this up for everybody to see. So I was replying to Vito and I said, all while she hangs out with racists and bigots, it was about Melanie Mac is what I said. And then this guy goes, any proof or are you being a moron as per usual? So coming in with the insults right away, jumping into my conversation, right? And I said, she hangs out on FNT, literally not proof at all. So he's saying that's not proof. So then I provide screenshots from both Gary and as that starts to add proof to what I was saying, but he didn't like that because he supports these guys. So there was no amount of proof that I could actually provide that would change his mind on it because he's already made his mind up. Um, so yeah, that was what the argument was about. It wasn't specifically about Melanie Mac. It was about who she hangs out with. That was the topic. And then at the very bottom, I even add Melanie herself was banned on Twitter for using the F slur. Stop moving goalposts and trash talking when we know you're just posturing for clout. And the reason why I say that is here he is, him in his little safe space bubble with a bunch of these people who either A, are homophobic or are okay with homophobia because not one of them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other people in there that laughed when he joked about uh, getting AIDS, who also did not bat an eye at him using the F slur in reference to me. And he does it again in this video. There's probably more times. I've, I've got at least two times that he's used it in this clip here, this three hour stream. This is Eric in the editing. I also wanna add that what sort of uh, set me off mostly about the AIDS comment is I'm actually old enough to not only have gone through the AIDS crisis myself, but I watched dozens of my friends pass away from AIDS due to the inability for the government to respond to it correctly. There's documentaries on this. There's all kinds of TV shows that tackle this. The AIDS crisis, the AIDS epidemic was awful. It was horrible. It's not a joke. It's not funny. It's not something that you should be making light of for you and your homophobic friends. I actually lost friends to the AIDS crisis. Matter of fact, the, the generation that I come from, a vast majority of queer people were basically erased because of this. So it's not a joke to me, it's not funny. So they do all of this and they, and they do it behind my back and clearly they know who I am, but guess what? I don't know who any of these fucking people are other than him, but clearly they know who I am. So I guess I'm doing something right in that regard. But they go in these little bubbles and they say these kinds of things that they will not say to my face because they're fucking cowards. They're fucking cowards. So when you tell me, Eric, why do you talk about gay stuff? Why is it, why do you have to mention you, who you are as a person and the things you fight for? This is why. Because hatred 
grows in these kinds of spaces. And these people, especially him, is too much of a fucking coward to say it to me. So they'll say it on these little streams in the background where they don't think I'm going to find out about it. Well, I want you to keep that same coward energy. Don't come to me now and try to say it. Don't come at me now and be like, oh, now I'm going to start saying it about you. Except when you're around your little safe space bubble of friends who all live in brain rotville. I have heard that slur my entire fucking life. And I am absolutely capable of taking it and just running with, with whatever you want to throw at me. But there's other people who are not. There are other people who are gay bashed. There are other people who are treated differently, harassed by using words like that and using things like catching AIDS. Those are all awful homophobic things. So I want you to understand that you not liking me and then doing this only emboldens me more to not shut the fuck up. So all of the people in this little bubble, all of these little fucking homophobic, you know, enthusiast, keep, keep in your little safe space. Keep doing it. I've been shown many, many clips by you guys. I've been shown many things that you have, that you have done over the last few days that have been said about me. But look, a couple years ago, you wanted to chill with me. You wanted to stream with me. You wanted to do stuff with me. So it's quite funny. Superficial stuff doesn't bother me. If you want to talk about how fat I am, you think I'm ugly, you think my beard's ugly, you don't like my beard colors, you think I make a fool of myself, you don't like my hat, you don't like the content I make, all of that's fine. But I tell you what, it's very telling to me when my opinion of someone is they're probably a homophobe, right? Based on the way they're treating me. And then to get the validation of, yes, in fact, they are homophobic. Or they say homophobic things. In, in the company of other people who feel the same way, their little safe space, their bigoted safe space. Stay there. Keep that same energy over there. And keep, keep misrepresenting me and lying about things that, and interactions we've had. And all of you guys need to learn how to fucking read. Because I wasn't talking about Melanie Mack in that tweet. Your, your question to me was the people that she hangs out with, not about her. I never said to you that she was racist. I said that the people she hangs out with are racist and bigots. You misrepresented me. You're all fucking cowards. Live with it.